Yo, yo, yo there everyone, this is Corp and welcome to another episode of Dueling with Corp. This is of course the series in which you guys get a chance to appear in the video, so for a chance to appear in the next episode, just inbox me with your battle tag and a link to your armory and you might just be dueling me a week from now. In today's episode I'm pretty much up against a KFC and that's two arms warriors and a marksman hunter, starting with the arena master hunter. Deathbreaker. So Deathbreaker starts out in camouflage here, opens and I want to pet seduce him right away. I need to land damage and build embers for healing later on as soon as possible so I get a havoc up on his pet. Then I'm going to pop Dark Soul really really early because more crit chance means more ember generation. I Shadow Fury early too just to get the cooldown ticking off but he scatters me on that. I get binding shot stunned which is unfortunate. I really don't want to pet seduce him until it's off of DR and it's about here. I make a mistake with my cooldowns. I should have just Dark Bargain here. I found out that using my heals later in the duel while he had no offensive cooldowns left was a lot more effective but I pretty much captured the essence of YOLO and pop every defensive in the world thinking it could be good to counter his best cooldowns. We will see how that works out for me but anyways after this I have his pet again always very very important to do that on cooldown and now I pop my second Dark Soul looking to finish off the duel and here is where I run into issues. Deathbreaker deterrences so I spam my ember taps but it is not going to be enough. I land a crazy hull of terror for which he has trinket and then I run out of steam. And that was a challenge for me to overcome in these duels it really feels like beating a hunter is about not only landing enough damage but dealing with their damage using the right cooldowns at the right time to ensure that you have the longevity to last out the duel. In this one I really really could have saved my heals I feel and of course healing with ember tap while you have up dark regeneration makes the ember taps heal more so it just makes them infinitely more useful. So in this duel we start out pretty much the same way he opens, I pet seduce then as always get a havoc up on his pet, I can't stress that enough, it's pretty much a handful of free embers and again I dark soul very very early, I charge in I manage to land a Howl which he trinkets. He then scatter traps me full, I really really don't want to trinket here so I wait for the trap to activate before using Unbound Will. Um, it's a bit risky but I feel I can make up the health cost in damage. Out of my Shadow Fury he pops every cooldown in the world and I use Unending Resolve. I move one toe away from his Binding Shot here which does unfortunately stun me so my shield wall is quickly followed by a Dark Bargain. But the key is that this time I hold onto my heals while I build more embers so I spam instants for a little bit. Then when I hit my third ember I finally go ahead and use my healing cooldowns spamming out three big ember taps at the same time. And just staggering my cooldowns a little bit like that puts me in a much much stronger position in comparison to the first duel. So he is pretty low now and I know I should be fine for a while, I'm feeling kind of strong at this point, he does a really really good job of reflecting some damage on me here with his deterrence. While he's in that I emulate his pet for embers, I havoc it up again for a quick ember. Then I use it instantly to heal. I'm pretty sure that if I can stay on high enough HP at this point I should be able to see the duel out. I pet seduce him as he scatters keeping him low. I have my finger on my trinket here just in case I need it out of this trap but it doesn't land so here I'm going to pop a second Dark Soul keep him locked down so he can't use the second deterrence and finish the duel. I think even if he had deterrence to gain though I would have been able to get another ember off of his pet so I should have been okay but definitely a very very challenging set of duels for sure. Next up are the warrior duels starting with Rathalos as always. Starting with my Portland pet away from me in the hope that my demon won't get herself feared. I pet seduce right away in the opener. But right here Rathalos actually almost reflects the blood horror and for a second I thought that he got it. Which is why I was kinda slow to go for some damage here and by the time I do he is able to pop his mass reflect too which really takes the sting out of my opener. So he's going to get back on me now, land a stun and pop his offensive cooldowns. I respond instantly with my unending resolve and I don't usually do this but I decide to pest use here. I have no way of avoiding his damage and while I'd much rather wait until the DRs wear off before going for a second pest juice, here I think this was actually worth it. All I'm trying to do is survive until I can set up another and hopefully more effective Destro Chain. As you can see though my heals did come out in the end anyways but that's okay. And Rathalos actually uses shield wall here and this means I'm going to need to kite around just a little bit more. I need to bide my time. I have my blood horror and shadow fury ready but I don't want to chain them into his shield wall. So as soon as shield wall is coming to an end I land a full pet seduction. I pop Dark Soul and I'm pretty much going for the win here. I blood horror casting whenever I can. I shadow fury and just try to burst him down but he is going to get off a rallying cry. So again just like when he used shield wall I'm going to just be trying to live. And he gets me scared really low in a stone, I probably should have just trinketed to be safe. I spam ember taps out of that though. In a panic I must have hit my pet juice key so I'm going to break that instantly. With a count flag of all things but that was because I saw his rallying cry was coming to an end. 
and from there I could shadow ban. So not the cleanest win ever, a lot of the times my tactics against warriors are the same, land a CC chain with Dark Soul, survive for 25 seconds, land another CC chain with the second Dark Soul, and win. Rathalos though, threw me some cave balls, forced what ended up being a pretty messy win for me in the end, but a very very good duel all the same. And moving swiftly on to our second warrior of the episode, Stoika. You can see I start out the duel in a very very similar way, that's pet at a distance, so I can land an easy seduce right away. I was a bit nervous here of getting my blood horror reflected, but I do eventually land it and with Dark Soul up and a Shadow Fury stun to follow, this is actually a pretty ideal opener for me. I was kind of experimenting with swapping from Curse of Elements to Curse of Enfeeblement while I have no control cooldowns up, and this is why I, like a boss, managed to get myself afflicted with my own case of enfeeblement. It actually isn't a massive deal though, I'm not going to be able to cast while I have no control cooldowns up anyways, and um, I'm currently just hopping around, doing what I can with instants while I wait for Blood Horror and Shadow Fury. Things here do get a little crazy though when he pops some recklessness, and again I'm forced to pet seduce him, as I really don't have much of an answer to that, it forces his trinket, but he's still going to get my unending resolve and my heals out of me. I decide here though that I'm ready to go for the win with my controls ready to go, it's only a half seduce I land here, but it does give me just enough time to stand right in front of Stoika, setting him up for the blood horror. I of course Shadow Fury off of that, giving me more time to free cast into him, I'm too scared to Shadow Ban here, in case he reflects though and he gets off a shield wall, so again, I basically cannot kill him here, I just have to build embers and kite around until another opportunity to burst through second wind presents itself. In this time I do also reapply Curse of Enfeeblement, I think it was actually pretty good to be doing that, um, because I'm just looking to survive here and not to kill, it's around this point though, I decide to try again. I see Blood Horror is pretty much back as well as Shadow Fury, I make to set up the chain with a pet seduce, then he fears me and my pets, so I will have the Forsaken that, but both reflects stop me from being able to take a win here. Stoika then throws out a Storm Bolt, but I'm finally able to land the pet seduce that's going to hold him still while I land a finisher. Now this last duel is another against Stoika, and in this duel I'm not so fortunate, it really really shows how powerful warriors are, how difficult they are to take down if you don't have offensive cooldowns to pop when trying to take a kill. And I actually lose this one right at the end, I was so so scared of having my shadow bend reflected that I used a case of elements every time before I shadow bend, however he pops both reflects. I take one of them with an elements, however the other one does reflect my shadow ban, allowing Stoika to take the win. But that is going to be all from me for this episode guys, it is currently 6am in the morning and I've been editing this one through the night and now I'm off on a covert mission to purchase Sophie some chocolate for Valentine's Day while she is asleep. So I hope you enjoyed the jewels, stay destro everyone and I'll catch all of you a little bit later. Oh